we are really happy that you are here in our session. We are uh, Zach from um, Arabic Wikipedia community and Bigot, that's me. Zach, you want to say something on the language? Yeah. Uh, this is a bilingual setting, so uh, if anybody <coughs> who, doesn't, who doesn't know English that well, or if something is too technical, you just ask and we could translate or explain at any time, just wave your hand. If you don't understand anything, we could try uh, French and English. Is there anyone who is not familiar in English? Or is there anything you can do? If you have your hand, you can do a translation. I'm going to do a translation in French or Arabic. Back to you. Thanks. So maybe one more sentence on why Zach and I are doing this session together. Um, we met in Italy at the hackathon three years ago and started talking about local technical needs of the wikis. And we had many, many conversations ever since then on wiki or mostly email or chat and we had a session together at the diversity conference um, two years ago in Sweden. So um, it's actually our second session together and we're really happy about that. Today um, we are going to talk about building technical capacity for the Arabic community and this is a workshop. Um, the image you can see, the wiki loves tools um, image, it's completely self-made. Um, one of my colleagues and I, we did it together and it took an entire day to <laughs> do a stencil, like a wiki tool, because we are not really good in it, but we really wanted to do this. And it's entirely self-made. And this is what we are talking about today as well. How can we do it? ourselves, right? So this is like about <coughs> DIY and what kind of support is needed to build technical capacity. So um, imagine a world where Arabic um, wiki community has at least as many technical contributors as are presented here on this picture. So, technical contributors, everyone who is active in the wiki, knows that they really, really support their peers, the, the editors, with the work that they do. They have special knowledge. But what happens? What, what do you do as a community when you don't have that many technical contributors? How can you solve your problems, right? This is a list of typical tasks that usually the technical contributors in the wiki would do. They can do local configurations of the wiki, for example, um, change the translation of a namespace or um, activate a piece of the software that only makes sense for that wiki, for that wiki, or deactivate it if it really doesn't make sense for that wiki. Um, they would build templates, modules, gadgets, scripts, bots, and tools to do, for example, uh, to, to build parts of a user interface that we know that is very um, visible in Wikipedia. The info box is completely volunteer made, right? Like including the code behind the info box and you have it on every single article page in, in, in the, no, not every single, but you have it on, on, on the article pages in Wikipedia. Um, tools help to, to create, to have better workflows, for example, for editing or maintaining um, of the content. And um, it helps to get a better user interface. For example, when you have a feature that, might, that is built for, with a perspective on users from left to right wikis, and not everything might be perfect, if you have some technical skills, you can make it work for your wiki that has a different language direction, right? And last but not least, automated tasks, bots, very important. We have, we have many tasks in the wikis 
that are repetitive, that you do many and many and many and many times, and it would be extremely boring and time consuming to do it manually. This is why we have bots, right? They help us. And um, a fun fact, so <coughs> in, in the last three months, 41% of all edits to Arabic Wikipedia came from bots and tools. Whereas on French Wikipedia, it was only 7.48%. So we have different unproven theories <laughs> around that. And it would be also a quest, a task for you uh, to find out why that number is so high. It can mean that the community who has not many editors automized more tasks. It can mean that one bot does a bit of crazy things, but the numbers are this high since half a year. So if you have any idea, um, I would be interested to, to know what could be a reason for that. So it's uh, for automated tasks. Uh, for example, we don't add manually categories. Uh, if we link to Wikidata, it's going to be automatically taken from um, the English Wikipedia and translated uh, yeah. to Arabic. So everything is automated. Stating for inboxes uh, comes from Wikidata, so we just add one line, and that's it. Yeah. Also, in the last few months, in our Wikipedia, in this year, we create more than. 400,000 articles by rules through Wikidata. Okay, that explains it, right? Oh, yeah. Because like uh, every wiki does automate tasks, oh, right? yeah. and, and it's interesting. And right? also, the, in the last few months, it also we add a new tasks, like the cyber power due to achieve the URL links. Okay. So it's made a lot of edits in the last few months. In Arabic, it's not existing in Arabic media before, so when we add it to around 900,000 articles to achieve all of the links from this articles to the books, make more than 3 or 4 million edits in this task in the last few months or only. Yeah, one last thing. 20% of our articles without references. So what we did is that we extracted references from Wikidata and English and French Wikipedia, uh, and we added them to Arabic Wikipedia. So we decreased by, uh, now we just have 70% of articles without references. So it's huge, just by using words. So basically, we have questions. That's how we find Wikipedia. We try to make uh, create articles more uh, easier to the user. Uh, we see to them only create the article and then the boot will add the portals, we will add the category, we will add the info box, we'll uh, link it to Wikidata, we'll make all of these uh, minor tasks. Only you can create the text of the article and that uh, why the number of uh, boots, uh, the number of two edits boots increase in our Wikimedia. In the last uh, few months only yeah. we create all of these things. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's really yeah. awesome, actually. Just how we can, um, how we can make um, cross wiki collaboration, like when you yeah. work with other people from other wikis. We're going to talk about that as well, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Um, a bit more about concretely this workshop. So, what we did this year, and remember the image from the very first slide. This is what we did with the stencil, <laughs> that took another day. <laughs> um, so we met at Wikimania um, with a few people and we started to create manuals, like easy manuals, how to write a gadget and use a script, for example, and organize technical workshops and conversations on how can we build technical capacity for smaller wikis and also collaborate across wikis. Um, because most wikis have the same issues, right? Every wiki needs to optimize tasks, for example, and you might find a frame, uh, like, um, one wiki has solved the problem you have already, so instead of doing exactly the same task again, there might be a way to, to just take that solution from the other wiki. And um, so, yeah, and help people to connect each other um, across wikis and that is already happening since years 
but not in such an organized way often, right? We have it here, we have it there, and um, so it was, uh, is, it, it, we tried to start really thinking about that, how, how we could do that. And this discussion today is kind of goes into that, like finding out more and more <coughs> how we could do this together as, a, as people, right? Do you want to do the next, the, the broccoli? <laughs> yeah, she has a special. Uh, <laughs> Oxford still didn't know it was a broccoli. I'm sure. So. Yeah, somehow I, I like broccoli. <laughs> this is a broccoli. So, um, because broccoli, it reminds me of a brain. I, I don't, I'm, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know actually how a brain looks like, but in my brain, broccoli looks like a brain. And um, also it's good if you have eat vegetables, um, you have smarter thoughts, right? So it keeps you healthy. I think it's a nice symbol. It also is like, it, it's it takes a while to discover what it is. That's why I like the image. And we are today talking about, yeah, we want to find out more, right? <coughs> and so the plan that we have for this, because it's a workshop, um, that we split us um, in, four groups um, and we have two uh, topics in the first round we will talk about the current situation in Arabic community and what is missing um, and then each group has one minute to present like the main thoughts that they had and then we go into the second round and discuss ideas what could we do like also we focus on what can we do not what others should do for us what can we do and uh, in the end, have a bit of time to talk about next steps, like revolution, um, network building, this kind of stuff that you would like to do afterwards. Um, yeah. So, um, as this is DIY, um, <laughs> um, please help us splitting us into uh, four pieces, four groups. We have another challenge, we have only three tables for four groups. So one group won't have a table, but just can sit in a circle. And Zach and I also join uh, the groups and um, watch the time and try to help out. Um, How would you describe the Let's not pressure people. People who are not comfortable in English, people who are not comfortable in English. Let's not pressure people. People should speak in whatever they're doing. The challenge is that everybody speaks in the language that they are comfortable with. We are not editing in here, 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 in Contain the automated translate, the automated translation option from the Google Translation and other. This face a lot of problem now in Wikipedia. Before it's not translated, uh, Google Translation until now there is some poor quality. So we face a lot of poor quality articles trans uh, published through the content translation tool with <coughs> this poor quality. Um, there's a point for the lack of translation standards. That's almost, we can say there's no specific dictionaries, for example, for some uh, specialities in medical and in engineering that we can or in the species that we can trans uh, that we can use to create the articles. For example, in our media, no? okay. transliteration. No, like in the shell, we call it the magic of understand. For example, in our media, we want to create, for example, the, a lot of articles about the animals, species, and families, and things. But we face the problem that we cannot find uh, a good uh, translation to the names of these animals because. There's no dictionary or specific means. I think that's a technical problem, though. Here we talk about, for example, in the animal situation, about the weak species. Mm -hmm. And the weak data also, if we can, 
Let okay, me talk about this point uh, with all the last time, if we can. The automated translated can help us to automate translation literally. This means from English to, to Arabic. To transliterate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Transliteration to Arabic. But unfortunately, Google or automatic translation at all uh, yeah. cannot help us in this point. Yeah. <coughs> the other one is about the lack of support and resources for newcomers. Yeah. This one, uh, the most important issue in Arabic Wikimedia, and we see in a lot of projects, not only the Arabic Wikimedia, that the community being aggressive with the newcomers, and the newcomers then not continue. If we say about Arabic Wikipedia, only one or two newcomers continue every day, and after a few weeks, they stop due to the aggressive way that the community, or we can say, as I explained, that we are, for example, 20, Administrator of Wikipedia with around 100 very active editors monthly in our Wikipedia. So there's a huge load, in, a huge load in the community. For uh, for this point, it will be more easier to the community to refuse it, refuse, 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 and the speed deletion more than the discussion deletion. It is the huge load with the existing in our Wikipedia. The last problem we talk about the technical issue in Arabic Wikipedia that uh, we have now only five interface administrators and for example Zach, a lot of people think that if there's any broken tool, if there's any broken uh, script in Arabic Wikipedia, being Zach and Zach not exist. Uh, this tool is still uh, broken and that working in Arabic Wikipedia for the days, months, the weeks, the years and the tool is going because no people have uh, only five people can deal with uh, this thing in our with the technical yes. issues in our community. So we need more experience. We know, I know, we know, need more experience. I think that you know about this point <laughs> that because if we open this uh, account for example today, we open this around five or six weeks, that is this device, that is. Yeah. Yes. 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 Also, I wish you all to that. Something Sukhana said um, just recently. <laughs> It may not mean that you need more. Uh, we have also the, the right to left uh, issues, so it's the same problem. I think uh, we talked about um, open data. Uh, so for open data, um, we check the three or four governments uh, in the area having open data uh, available on the website. So we're getting to. Uh, find a way to, to ask the other governments to release data under free license. Uh, under free license and having it available in a specific format, not PDF files, we need Excel files or something like that to be able to choose them. And also we need trainings to know how to import and uh, include that information on Wikidata. Why Wikidata? Because we are using a lot of uh, bots to create articles on uh, Arabic Wikipedia. We created uh, last year uh, more than what we created during 15 years. So uh, the same amount. So it was huge. Uh, we just extract information from Wikidata and extract references also. Just by knowing uh, sex profession, uh, date of birth, date of death. Uh, and that's enough for us to create the first step first uh, step on, uh, Wiki, uh, on uh, Arabic Wikipedia and then uh, encourage others to start editing that, uh, that article. I want to say to you about this point. Uh, now in our Wikipedia we reached the uh, 900, uh, we almost reached the million articles. But so, and we can through this, and the boot is ready now for to reach us to 2 million articles in our Wikipedia. The, but the Arab Wikipedia community say they will take us manually to reach the million. So we stopped uh, from creation this boot creation, but the boot now is ready for or only need to click the enter, and then we can reach the 2 million articles by this boot. And we try on, uh, also not to make this article to be a step or one sentence. We try to import from Wikidata, from English Wikipedia, the other languages, with a lot of references in it and images and try also to import it from other websites that open the database of it that we can import from it. But the community is, you know, the motivation articles is still is an issue with the community. But the good, good thing is that other wikis are seeing what we are doing, so they are asking guys for help. Oh, yeah. Like the, the Urdu wiki, they are uh, using yeah. the 
the categorizing purpose. So what we do is that if you have the equivalent, uh, we have an article in uh, on Arabic Wikipedia, <coughs> we have the same one on the English Wikipedia. If there is a category on the English Wikipedia, and we have the equivalent on Arabic Wikipedia, we're gonna put it on that article. So we also also work with the CQB Wikipedia, the Quarter Wikipedia. Now they have only twenty thousand articles, and they ask us for help in the technical problems they face, and we help uh, them. Uh, a lot of Arabic Wikipedia boots now working with Wikipedia Wikipedia to translate the statistics there and some pages that we ask. So we try, as the accent, to make it across wikis, we try to help other wikis, even on especially the small size wikis. Yeah, that's where we're going to pick up. Yeah. So we are already working on it. Uh, I'm trying to uh, implement that on Yoruba and skin on sketches. But there is a possibility for other wikis to, uh, to use that go to fake articles also. From Wikipedia. <coughs> okay. <laughs> With a good bridge to a second question. Yeah. Can I post the creation of the article? Can I post editing? Post editing? Yeah. yeah. So I don't think so. Uh, it's the creation of the article. We have also the, the right to left uh, issues. So it's the same problem. I think uh, we talked about um, open data. Uh, mm. So for open data, um, we check the history of four governments uh, in the area having open data uh, available on the website. So we're going to uh, to find a way to, to ask the other governments to release data under free license. Uh, under free license, and having it available in a specific format, not PDF files, we need Excel files or something like that to be able to choose them. And also we need trainings to know how to import and uh, include that information on Wikidata. Why Wikidata? Uh, because we are using a lot of uh, bots to create articles on uh, Arabic Wikipedia. We created uh, last year uh, more than what we created during 15 years. So uh, the same amount. So it was huge. Uh, we just extract information from Wikidata and extract the references also, just by knowing uh, sex profession, uh, date of birth, date of death, uh, and that's enough for us to take the first step. First uh, step. The exports, for example. Not, uh, for example, you know, if you create an article, an article, most people like to create the article from the zero to appear in this statistics page that he created this page. Not like I we get this issue that a lot of people say if this article created by a book and I want to create it. So if we they talk now now we we can make a bonus to delete this to create an article and I will create it when we can hear the history because he want this article to appear in his statistics but we say no yeah. because I will delete them not delete this you can edit it and go it and a lot of the articles now <coughs> from each other article and the articles created not from the zero, you know? So I'm sure you have that to oh. <laughs> I 
uh, why not uh, form in them so that they, they might interact directly with the uh, uh, technical issues and try to solve them. That's how we can uh, first uh, uh, try to work on capacity building and also solve problems, technical problems. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I have a loud voice. Uh, I suggested, uh, and I was inspired by Asaf there, um, that the Arab community might use the current development uh, in other wikis as a stepping stone uh, to develop its own technical tools. What it would do is uh, it would also detect technical talent, which is not always revealing itself uh, in the community. So that's two, two flies uh, with the same heat, uh, I think. And um, uh, it's also a learning path. Uh, so that's, that was my suggestion to the community, and it was, all, it was inspired by our first problem, the, uh, the right to left issue. Thank you. It's your time. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> you get more Vianna's uh, cheated as well. So, I guess we all know that learning is a process. So, uh, I guess um, I, I personally have like a, a more, I, I, I need more like visual learning. But I, I don't know what, uh, what should be like done uh, globally speaking. But uh, we suggest that uh, like uh, content for learning material should be like visually appealing so that uh, people can actually get uh, more attached to it. Um, user experience is also like to be put into like consideration as well as the uh, user interface uh, for uh, the content. Um, I guess uh, we also um, said that uh, 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 there should be like uh, the tools uh, should be like uh, easy uh, Easy and uh, easy to, to, to use for like uh, creation of uh, visual documentation, um, and um, uh, maybe it would be good also to like just uh, like put uh, tutorials, I guess. Yeah, like, just like tutorial, uh, like uh, someone uh, doing the thing and recording the video and uh, yeah, yeah. And that. In the last also few months, I'm working with the other related Arab community, Ahmed Samur, Ahmed Samur in Arabic, to create documentation pages for most uh, most of these tools in Arabic in India. Uh, I'm responsible to create the videos, how to use it, how to enable it, and to create the Asian Arab community, how to enable this tool and how to use this tool. And yes, we found it uh, a good solution that Arab users uh, like to see videos instead of making videos. But also, it could be said that. Allow the app to users to create all this communication. So we are willing to share experience with other. I would add that, like, maybe <coughs> there was like, a specific platform that uh, probably has uh, all the uh, learning access. Like, I'm not talking about like, yes. uh, like a virtual university or anything like that, but possibly like <coughs> a page where there's like all the learning content is like concentrated right there. We try to upload like the Arab uh, media uh, channel on YouTube, for example, to exist in these videos. But also, you know, related to create a comments issue and uh, information. Mm -hmm. and so I don't know to create a platform at all. We just look for another session. <laughs> but actually, um, what we try to do at least, um, we created a page <laughs> um, after Wikimedia on Meta. And the idea is if you develop tutorials, it also might help other wikis on technical stuff, right? Not on other stuff, just on technical stuff. Um, to, um, to give a link there and um, share those information with others. So this, the page is a starting point for that. And there's generally more thinking about, also in the foundation and the community engagement department, about hey, how can we develop more online learning um, uh, materials in a good way, how can we uh, kind of also get everything together in one place, right? Um, so, but for now we started like, um, um, okay, let's have a place where we have the first materials that we have on that. There's much more out there, 
But um, I think what is the confusing part is that we have a lot of material that is also, let's say, outdated, and it's from many years ago. So how do you know that the tutorial that you watch is still like? But it's still exactly working that way, right? So this is what we had a bit in mind. That let's let's collect a few current resources that people can use, and also use that as a okay if you wanna do more workshops together or think more about that. So um, you can um, start watching the page and um, also show up in the talk page if you're interested in. in that. Then wrap it up. Uh, thank you everybody for the great work and we'll see you on the talk page and have a great evening. And talk to us more.